Hi, I'm Dylan Cox for SecondsOut.com and I'm here with David Price. David, you didn't have to take this rematch, but you forced it and you're going to be facing Tony Thompson again. How much does that say about your character? Well, I don't know, to be honest. I mean, I, I, I suppose I'm showing balls in a way for, for getting straight back in with the man who knocked me out. But for me, it's more about personal redemption and the quickest and most direct route to, to put like, what went wrong right. And, you know, the opportunity was there to pursue a rematch. So I, we, I enforced it. I told Frank that's what I wanted. And um, thankfully, I've got it. Thankful of the opportunity. You know, Tony Thompson's given me the opportunity to... To, to put what put right what went wrong, he'll have different ideas, obviously. But um, you know, it, yeah, it probably says that I'm, I'm, I've you know, it's shown that I've got a lot of pride. My pride was hurt in this last fight, and this is my way of putting it right. And um, I intend to do so. Do you think the critics were a bit harsh and a little bit unfair on you following the defeat? Because you were boxing well up until the stoppage and now people, not just writers, but people on the forums are saying, oh, David Price is chinny, etc. Do you think that maybe that's a bit unfair given what you've done in your career so far and how you were boxing up until that point? To be honest, I don't, I don't go on boxing forums or I don't, uh, to be honest, I haven't even read anything about me after the fight because I knew what the response would be. I don't need to hear some prick on a forum talking, talking uh, about me when they don't know how, how hard I work and, and what I've achieved in, in boxing already. And you know, heavyweight boxing, you get caught with a shot and you get caught in a sweet spot. These things happen. It's, you know, it's up to me to prove now that I can come back from defeat and this is where the real work starts for me because I, I, I had everything my own way you know I was winning fights no problem getting in the ring blasting people out and this is a, this is a test of my character and I can say all the right things going into the next fight and say you know make all the right noises and make people believe but I'm only gonna be judged by my actions in this next fight and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get in that ring and, and use my actions to to prove that I can I can um, do what I'm expected, you know, what I was expected to do in the last fight. You mentioned something quite profound there that subconsciously maybe you weren't as switched on for the fight as you perhaps thought you were, and that's quite something that you can't really control. But for this fight, with it being about redemption and you being able to put the record straight, can you see already in the, your mindset and your training to date that you're up for this in a way that you haven't been for other fights? Yeah, the only motivation I need for this fight is I don't ever want to feel the way it felt after the last fight and I don't want the people around me to have to feel the way they felt and everything else that that's the only motivation I need and you know I, I've always been motivated towards winning a fight and and you know excelling in my career but this has took it to another level obviously so you know I am I am in a, a different place mentally but you know I'm not I'm not gonna be like getting in the ring tentative and a bit gun shy or whatever else because it's not in my nature. I, I've had I've had knocks and I've had setbacks in the past where I could have come back and been a little bit of a, a bit of a different fighter and not the same. But you know, I'm gonna do a few subtle little changes and uh, everything will be okay. Some of the best heavyweights in the world have been stopped and come back from defeats. One of those is obviously Vladimir Klitschko against Purity. He's been stopped against Brewster. He's he's had those setbacks, but he's now at the very top of the tree. But also a British legend in Lennox Lewis, obviously, the McCall defeat. He came back from that and avenged it. And then obviously when he lost against Rackman, he came back in emphatic fashion and, uh, emphatic fashion and avenged that as well. And hopefully that's something you can do too. But we hear that Lennox has invited you over to Canada and you might be doing some work with him as well. Is that quite important for you to get a sort of mentor in the heavyweight division? Yeah, uh, yeah, it is, I think. Uh, and, and I mean, it wasn't something I was out looking for. It just kind of presented itself. And, you know, I had I, I not lost the last fight. It probably wouldn't have, but now we're here. And it has presented itself. And I'm sure it can uh, give a massive boost to me, I think, yeah. And how's your sort of mindset for this this fight? Are you thinking you're going to just you're going to try and use your boxing skills a bit more this time and not get into that mindset that you can bowl everybody over, or are you going to mix it up a bit, or have you not really decided yet exactly how you're going to approach the fight? I haven't really decided yet. I mean, I think patience is a little bit more of a key than I, I, I'm going to have to put patience down as a, as a key factor in this fight rather than you know I didn't in the last fight, although I was telling myself going in I would. You know, trying to please the crowd, things like that, and it's all part of the hype, which and, and the, the the snowball effect of what I was doing to other opponents, and you know it, it comes to a halt, and um, now it's time to to reevaluate things a little bit. But as I said, I'm not going to be 
I'm not going to be changing too much because what, what I've done in the past has, has got, to, got me to where I am now and I excite fans either way, you know, so it's, um, it, it's something that we'll decide as we go through the camp. Just a final point on Tony Thompson, you've shared a ring with him. What did you think of him when you were fighting him the first time before the stoppage? Did you, were you sort of cautious of his power or did you think he was a, a good technical boxer? Did you learn anything in those rounds? Well, it was only a short fight, wasn't it? But I did learn that he's a, he's a cunning fighter. Um, you know, he's clever, he's experienced, poker-faced, doesn't give nothing away as far as showing emotions is concerned. And um, he's obviously heavy-handed, isn't he? So, you know, the, 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 it's a difficult opponent, and I mean... Tony Thompson, he is an avoided heavyweight. You know, I needed Tony Thompson for my last fight, like I needed a, a fucking hole in the head. Do you know what I mean? But we're here now. We're here and, and it's happened and now, you know, I, I've got to get out of the mess and the way I get out of it is, is by fighting him and, and doing a job on him, which, which I'm determined wholeheartedly to do. And then, you know, we can move on from this debacle. A couple of quick questions about some of the recent fights in the heavyweight division. Uh, we saw fellow Olympic bronze medalist from Beijing, Deontay Wilder, blast out Audley Harrison in less than a minute. So you probably couldn't read too much into that, but I wanted to ask you what you think of Wilder today. And also Tyson Fury's exciting back and forth with Stephen Cunningham in the States. Uh, Wilder, exciting, you know, ferocious puncher. Wild, um, just another exciting heavyweight and in, in what's becoming you know a bit of a bit of a hot division lately um so yeah it's good to see and you, I, I said the other day you can't argue with his record no matter who he's been fighting with that the fella's definitely got something as far as power's concerned he's not 28 men out or stop them and um you don't do that no matter if, if you could be fighting anyone and you, you might knock all of them out but he has so he's got something and it's exciting yeah um fury the fight with cunningham Done what he had to do to win, used his uh, his advantages. You know, he was struggling with the smaller man's speed and got up off the floor and, and come back and won. So, you know, he he done the job. Great. Best of luck for the rematch, David. All the best. Thanks very much. Cheers.